see there are many transaction huh many transaction that may fail there are many transaction that may fail at any point of time so what we have to do is we have to roll back that transaction to some instant that roll backing is 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 not a uh, not a setback to the system actually it is the recovery of the system recovery from the failure so how we can recover from the failure that will be decide decided by the recovery process so let's say in a schedule if a transaction ti fails then how to undo the effect of that transaction to ensure the automaticity property of the transaction in a system that allow concurrent execution it is necessary also to ensure that any transaction ti that is dependent on tj is also aborted the aborted scheduling is recovered from two types of schedule c if there are transaction ti transaction tj both are executing some operation transaction ti is doing something transaction tj is doing something let's say transaction ti has written something transaction tj has read something so at that particular time we have to see that if ti fail here so i have to roll back anyway ti do i have to roll back tj also tj never fail but it has already read the value which has updated by ti so we have to look for all the possibility or all the affected transaction which will which is taken the data manipulated by ti right so that is the thing that is written here the abort schedule is recovered for two type of shed, uh, schedules recoverable schedule and cascade less there are two type of schedules uh with the help of that or if you are using these schedules we can recover from it so let's talk about recoverable schedules now this schedule is recoverable let's see if ti read it then there is a write operation and then there is a read read operation so you can see if ti fails here if ti fails here ti has sorry t1 fails here t1 has to be roll back it is sure but tell me t2 also has to be roll back yes it has to be roll back the above schedule in transaction t2 perform only one instruction read a suppose that the system t2 is uh, commit uh, uh, commit immediately after executing read a instruction thus t2 commit before ti does now t1 transaction has failed before it commit since t2 has read the value of um, value of the data item a written by t1 we must abort t2 to ensure transaction automaticity right so to ensure the automaticity we have to roll back this also it's a common sense however t2 has already committed and cannot be aborted thus we has a situation where it is impossible to recover uh, correctly from the failure so it says that let's say just after the read it will do commit if anybody will do the commit operation it cannot be rolled back because it has already been committed into the database so in that particular situation what happen is we have to make some strategy in such a way so that the failure will be handled if the commit happen immediately after read instruction is known as the non recoverable schedule so if commit occur just before that then this is not possible means abort to t2 is not at all possible this is called non recoverable schedule what is the meaning of recoverable schedule recoverable schedule is one where each pair of transaction ti tj such that tj read the data item previous to the written by ti the commit operation of ti appear before the commit operation of tj it means that commit operation 
here it will be occur first then the commit operation of t2 will occur that commit operation follow should be there means if t2 has read the value from t1 so t1 commit operation will be done first then t2 commit operation will take place like this that is called recoverable schedule now let's talk about another type of schedule which is called cascade less schedule the avo schedule what happened into the avo schedule let's analyze it read a read b write a read a somebody has read a write a then read a so here you can see t1 if t1 fail t2 has to roll back if t2 fail t3 has to roll back because every thing is linked in the above schedule t1 write a value on x that is read by transaction t2 transaction t2 write the value of a that is read by transaction t3 suppose the transaction t1 fails so t1 must be roll back since t2 is dependent on t1 and t2 must be roll back since t3 is dependent on t3 t3 must be roll back so in that way see when t2 t1 is roll backing so this is failing they are not failing but because t2 is dependent on t1 so it is also roll backing and if t2 is roll backing definitely t3 has to be roll back because t3 is also dependent on t2 that is called cascade roll back in this phenomena a single transaction lead to fail then the serial of transaction roll back is called cascading roll backing cascade less schedule what is a cascade less schedule cascade cascading roll backing is uh, under desirable because it does some amount of uh, does some amount of work the cascade less schedule is one where for each transaction the pair of transaction ti and tj such that tj read the data item previously written by ti the commit operation of ti appear before the read operation of ti it says that what is the meaning of cascade it says that whenever there is a read operation somebody has written it so just after the written there should be the commit then only you can do the read operation then there is a write operation you will do commit then only you will do the read operation so what happened let's say it fail if it fail then then also there will be no problem it will be roll back up to this up to this line because it is roll backing up to this line why because it has already committed these operation all the operation it has done it has already been committed so t2 doesn't have to roll back as well as t3 doesn't have to roll back that is called cascade less means we are not making any threat to any other transaction or we are not making the dependent transactions 